Hi, everyone. I'm recording this particular episode from a cold, grey London, uh, where I'm spending some time before I get into Cambridge. And today, I actually wanted to speak to you about a very uh, interesting topic, which is about this man who has not sat down for 17 years. In fact, he says, his name is Jeffrey Hinton. Some of you might have heard of him. And he says that I last sat down in 2005, and it was a mistake. So he has this problem where uh, he cannot sit down. He can stand, he can lie down. And so when he travels, uh, he can only travel by car or by train because in an aircraft, even if you're in business class, they ask you to sit up when the plane is taking off or landing. Uh, eating is a problem. He can't kind of uh, sit down and eat. And so he he kneels and eats uh, uh, on the table. And with, and, he, and he's, while he lives in London, in, uh, while he lives in Toronto, in Canada, he's British by birth, and his trademark wry British humor shines through many times uh, when he says that, you know, his back is a long-standing problem. Now, why are we talking about this man who can't sit down? Because Jeffrey Hinton is one of my heroes. I discovered him in this fabulous book by Cade Metz, a New York Times journalist called Genius Makers. And he's a hero because he literally invented, almost invented, deep learning, which uh, is probably the most exciting uh, uh, part of AI today and the one which is probably going to lead us to artificial general intelligence if it ever comes. Uh, he's a Turing Award winner. He's a member of the a fellow of the Royal Society. He's called the godfather of uh, deep learning. He brought back neural networks, and that's an interesting story. In fact, he, he kind of was the guy who first thought about the fact that if we want to build good real AI, uh, we need to mimic the human brain. And so he and he had these young students uh, who became very famous later, Jan Lekun, uh, who now heads uh, AI at Meta, uh, Ilya Sustafikar, who uh, is now who, who was a co-founder of OpenAI, which famously created GPT-3, and and all of these, uh, uh, you know, kind of worked on bringing neural networks back. And uh, at a time when the AI world did not believe in this stuff, they kind of are looking at a different way of approaching AI, and. Um, uh, Jeffrey's, uh, Jeffrey Hinton's PhD thesis, which was actually called Deep Neural Networks for Acoustic Modeling in Speech Recognition, actually demonstrated how deep neural networks outclassed older machine learning models, uh, which the world was, uh, AI world was focusing on. He literally invented back propagation, uh, which is one of the most, most uh, famous and useful uh, concepts in AI. Uh, and, and by mimicking the human brain, he sought to get rid of traditional mean learning, uh, machine learning methods where humans would label pictures, words, objects. Instead, you know, his work copied the brain's self-learning techniques and, and, and he focused on the brain's cortex, which is very uniquely human in, in many ways. And he kind of talked about artificial neurons from interconnected layers of software modeled after the column of neurons in the brain's cortex. So these neural nets can actually gather information, react to it, build an understanding of what something looks or sounds like. Um, well, you know, it was not very well received then, but today deep learning is everywhere. Google, Meta, Microsoft, DeepMind famously, Baidu, uh, all of them are kind of using deep learning to build driverless cars or predict protein folding and beating humans at games like Go. Um, and so as, as Hinton says that we were the lunatic fringe, but we ceased to be the lunatic fringe and now we are the lunatic core. Uh, funnily and interestingly, uh, Hinton also comes from a very distinguished ancestry. His great, great grandfather was Geoffrey Boole who created Boolean uh, logic and Boolean algebra, which actually became the foundation for modern computers. Uh, a relative, a great, great aunt, uh, well, great, great uncle was actually George Everest, uh, the Surveyor General of India, after whom Mount Everest is uh, named. Uh, another great cousin was actually, um, uh, was actually, she was working, she was a nuclear physicist working on the Manhattan Project. His great grandfather created the concept of the fourth dimension, 
uh, and first drew what is called the Tesseract. His father, Howard Hinton, was a very formidable uh, entomologist and a fellow of the Royal Society. Uh, and so coming from that ancestry, Hinton has perhaps outshone all of them or most of them uh, and kind of lived up to his, uh, his family tradition by creating this amazing, bringing back and creating this amazing part of artificial intelligence, neural networks, which gave rise to deep learning. Uh, it, it's a very fascinating story about the man who can't sit down, but who became the godfather of deep learning and one of the godfathers of AI, as I told you, one of my heroes. And it would be fantastic if, you would, if this interests you to know what you think. Uh, and I could point you out to other places to read more about him. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, the man who could not sit down and a man who's not sitting on his laurels either. And I hope you found that inspiring. Bye-bye.